All good? Yes, yes. Donna and Avery are happily playing with Pilar. Did Avery have any questions about sleeping here last night? None. No, I mean, she was great. But she's here all the time, so it wasn't something out of the ordinary. Good. Glad she's okay. I'm glad Sonny is okay. I mean, the fact that he took it upon himself to go see Kevin, that he reached out. Yeah, that just shows you how hard this hit him with Christina falling and losing the baby. Yeah. So, okay, so how did Sonny seem when you drove him home? <sighs> Sonny was... He was quiet. You know, he really didn't talk much. But he did ask you to drive him, right? He did. Sonny's coming back to us. I know he is. I can't tell you how relieved I am that Sonny finally realized that there was a problem, you know, that he didn't consciously stop taking his medication, that he saw that there was legitimately something wrong. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they can recalibrate his medication and he's going to be okay. He's still going to have to deal with what happened to Christina. What the hell was she doing in Ava's room? Yeah, so I talked to Dante after I dropped Sonny off, got some details. Um, apparently, Ava subpoenaed Christina for Avery's custody case. Because Christina saw Sonny go after Dax. And Ava wants to force Christina to put it on the record? Yeah, I'm assuming that Christina got served, went to Ava to confront her, they argued. Yeah, but could Ava really push a pregnant woman hard enough to break through a window? I don't know exactly what happened in that room, but I do know that Christina was there to protect her father. Hi. Oh my God. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna get you some coffee. Okay. You just missed Jason. Oh, yeah? Where'd he go? Well, he went to check in on Sunny. Yesterday must have been really tough for him. And pretty tough for you, too. I, I mean, it's so good to, to see you, you know, considering I haven't. I texted you. I know, but it's not the same. As a mom, I need to have eyes on you to know you're okay. I'm fine. Sit down. Oh, God, Jonathan, I've been so worried about you. I mean, you were the lifeguard on duty when Christina fell through a window and into the pool. That had to be devastating for you. Look, I'm just happy that I knew what to do in that moment. Me too. I'm so proud of you. And if you couldn't come home to me, I'm glad you had Trina to be with and decompress with. Yeah, um, I wasn't with Trina. I spent the night at Texas. Thanks for bringing me home. It's happy to do it. You're not gonna ask me any questions? No. But I'll listen to anything you want to tell me. I talked to Alexis this morning. How's Christina? She's resting, no complication from the surgery. That's great. Yeah. It's gonna be tough, tough on her, because not just the injury, but the emotional toll that, you know, losing the baby. I mean, luckily she has family and friends to help her through it. You know, Molly blaming me for Christina falling hit me really hard. Because she's not wrong. I always hurt the people that I love. That's why I didn't want to do that anymore, so... I went on the roof. Of the hospital? I wanted the pain and the suffering to end. And that was, I felt, the only way out. What, what stopped you? Mark. 